Hey, I'm Colby Keller, porn star, artist, and sex blogger. Get in bed with me. Hey there, man hunters and man hunted. It's me, your friendly semen specialist, Colby Keller. Today we'll talk about the U in our C U M mnemonic, umami. Scientifically speaking, humans categorize flavor into six basic taste configurations sweet, sour, salty, bitter, metallic, and the recent most addition, umami. Flavor category based on a Japanese term used to describe a pleasant, savory flavor. Think miso soup. With a protein-heavy composition and a salty bite, semen fits nicely into an appraisal of this peculiar flavor's categorical imperatives. When it comes to cum, you either like the smell and flavor or don't. Or do you? Turns out smell and flavor can vary man to man. Anyone who is gay, and I'm assuming most of you are, likely already know this. You'll likely also notice a flavor particular to each man's body odor. This is natural and has purpose. Like your balls, the glands in your armpits are a sex organ in addition to helping regulate your body temperature. They release specific pheromones designed to attract a suitable mate. If you like your partner's natural smell, you're also likely a good match, at least in terms of fucking. Um, I love a nice ripe pit here and there, but not on everybody. I'm personally repulsed, for instance, by my brother's body odor, and I can't help but think that this is nature's way of confirming and enforcing the obvious and utter lack of attraction. That said, diet can also affect the smell of your sweat and the taste of your cum. While some theoretical notions do regulate a general appreciation of aesthetic taste, we generally like to assume flavor is largely subjective, and there is no reason for me to assume otherwise when it comes to semen. Here are a few suggestions to tweak the overall flavor impression of Yojunk's jizz, however you like it. Fruit, like pineapple, melon, and even celery are said to make semen lighter. Beer and coffee may increase bitterness. Most meats and fish, which are more alkaline-based, can produce a buttery flavor and texture. Acidic fruits like cranberries, plums, blueberries can produce a pleasant, sweet impression. While many claim that dairy products with high bacterial putrefaction levels make cum taste foul, whatever that means. Personally, I'm not giving up butter and beer, but that's me. All this begs a question I likely should have mentioned at the beginning of this segment. Colby, isn't eating cum unsafe? Well, yes, and you should probably avoid it where you can. I also know that we each take measured risks when we engage in sexual contact with other human beings, and cum eating is nearly universally practiced. You've probably tasted your own and a rather popular activity. Unless you have open sores in your mouth, and on rare occasions you may not know exactly if you do, the risk of unprotected oral sex is significantly less than the risk of unprotected anal sex, where blood and semen are much more likely to come in contact. Now, pop quiz. If you're giving a buddy head, and they come in your mouth without giving you proper notice, is it safer to swallow or to spit? What do you think? What do you think, boys? Swallow! May not have been what you were expecting. I actually heard that one recently from a doctor, a real live doctor at a health clinic, and it actually makes a lot of sense. Stomach acid will kill any harmful pathogens in the semen, and you are much less likely to have an open sore inside your throat or gastric system than in your mouth. Okay, spitting infected cum out of your mouth simply gives it more surface area, a greater chance, a second chance actually, of hitting the wrong spot. A sad and frankly gross note to end on, I know, but it's important and it may save your life. Next week, going the distance. Till then, boys, be safe and have fun.